season of football is here and whether you find yourself at the field under the lights or watching our coverage, there's a lot of excitement around the game. And after top players graduated last year, we'll soon find out how this team will stand as the season kicks off. Austin Lass has all the game information you need to know about the Eisenhower Eagles. The high school football season is upon us. And our own Tim Meyer caught up with the Eisenhower Eagles earlier this offseason to get their thoughts on the upcoming season. It's an exciting time every time this year as football starts. And you got what it looks like out here, what we saw so far, as a great group of young men. Yeah, great. Uh, they're working hard. You know, we got guys that have a lot of playing experience, but, you know, we got a lot of new JV guys that, that are coming up and playing. But they're working hard and, uh, we're trying to get better every day, that's the key. Tell us about uh, what, what your feelings are this point of the year with this team as compared to last year's team. Last year we were replacing five offensive linemen and and uh, this year we replaced four and it's the same thing, you're just, you're working every day. So it's hard to compare the two teams, you know, because we got better every week last year and we're just hoping we do that th again this year. Eisenhower Eagles offensive coordinator John DiGiorgio. John, uh, this year, uh, Got a little bit of pressure on you. You guys uh, shot out of the, the cannon last year with a tremendous offense. How are you going to do uh, uh, in the encore season here in 2017? Uh, we're looking to reload. We uh, we feel good about our tailback position. Obviously, we gradu uh, graduated Jack Reventure, but uh, we have Caleb Oyster, who we feel uh, very strongly about. And obviously, when you have uh, one of the best quarterbacks in the state of Michigan, there's a lot of things you can do. I'm with Eisenhower's third-year quarterback, Max Whitwer, and Max... Uh, you actually put together two fantastic seasons, and uh, what do you got in store for your senior year? Uh, I'm just looking for more of the same with a uh, good group of guys. You know, we've been practicing hard, practicing hard for this last week. Uh, our coaches are, you know, doing what they always do. They've been scheming. They've been uh, planning throughout the whole winter. And uh, I just want to get one step farther than last year and win the game at Ford Field. So that's what I'm looking forward to in my senior season. Well, the Eisenhower Eagles will be losing um, all-world running back Jack Preventure, but uh, they have a pretty good replacement here in Caleb Oyster. Many of you maybe remember Caleb last year, uh, scored a few touchdowns for the Eagles on the gridiron. And Caleb, uh, now it, the ball's in your hands. And tell us a little bit about how that feels. Uh, I mean, it feels great. I'm just trying to fill the role of Jack, and I mean, I'm doing the best I can. The Eagles will open their season this Saturday at the Prep Kickoff Classic at Tom Adams Field on the campus of Wayne State University. And they will take on the Oak Park Knights at 3 p.m. For tickets and more information, please visit www.detroitsports.org forward slash PKC. We've never played Oak Park. Uh, watch some film on them. They're they're well coached and they, they play tough and uh, you know they're going to be a, a you know a great opponent for us. For Shelby this week, I'm Austin Last. And we'll have to wait to see how this season plays out for the Eagles. Good luck, guys. And speaking of football, we know you want to know who will go head to head on the field this season. Shelby this week's Arthur Shank has you covered with all the game times and locations. The 2017 high school football season is kicking off and Shelby TV Sports has another great year of coverage planned. This year's television coverage starts off with the Port Huron Big Reds visiting the Utica Chieftains. Week 2 will have all eyes in the Mac Red on this one as the Dakota Cougars wander into Barney Swinehart Field to face the Eisenhower Eagles. In Week 3, the Roseville Panthers are in town to face Eisenhower who are home for back-to-back -back games. In week four, we have a Mac White matchup as the Anchor Bay Tars line up against the Utica Chieftains. The fifth week of our coverage has the Warren Cousin Patriots facing the Utica Chieftains. And in week six, the Lance Cruz North Crusaders are taking on the Eagles. On October 6th in week seven, the Eagles host longtime rival Stevenson in a game that could have an impact on how the Mac Red gets sorted out. Week eight has the Frazier Ramblers visiting the Utica Chieftains. And in week nine, the Stevenson Titans return to Barney Swinehart Field, this time to face Utica to wrap up the season. We will also look to follow both teams into the playoffs when the pairings are announced at the end of the season. So stay tuned to Shelby TV Sports for 2007 high school football action. Don't forget to tune in each week on Shelby TV to catch the games.